Good morning children. Sai Ram. Uh, today we are going to uh, do a revision and of lesson number 2. And uh, we are going to uh, write the notes also for that lesson. Okay. I hope uh, you all remember the title of the lesson. Yes. Very good children. The title of the lesson is My Red Little Hen. Okay. My Red Little Hen. That is the title of the lesson. So, before uh, we uh, start with our notes, I will just do a quick recap of the lesson, of the story. Uh, here are the Red Little Hen. Uh, it was uh, uh, living in a cottage, tiny cottage, and it was um, uh, on. Uh, it was going with uh, its friends, and on the way, it saw the grains, food grains, on the wheat grains on the uh, floor. Uh, so it just took it, and it saw its friends, and they said, "No, no, we will not help you." So it said, "Okay, I will only." do uh, the plantation work so it uh, it went and planted the seeds uh, so the grains uh, so the next day uh, after some days what happened the plant uh, it started growing it started to sprout it uh, sprouts came out so it started to grow so it was very happy and it uh, called its uh, chicks and said, see, look at this, how the plant has grown. Uh, like that it was telling. So once it is done, uh, the time came uh, for it to pluck the grains from the plant. Uh, that time also again it uh, asked its friends. Who are the friends? Uh, cat, lamb and the goose. Those three were the friends. Uh, when it asked again, they said, uh, no, no, we can't do the work. Okay, fine, I myself will do this. Like that, this started, uh, took the grains off. And then uh, what happened then? Uh, after that, it wanted to take it, uh, uh, put everything in a sack and it wanted to take it to the mill floor to ground it into powder. That time also it went and asked the friends but they said no no we will not help. The three friends they said we will not we can't do the work. So okay fine I will myself go to the floor and uh, mill and make it as a floor. Like that it decided and it went and it did like that only. Once uh, uh, she got that uh, floor. Uh, she uh, made a good uh, nice uh, loaves of bread. Okay, what happened then? At uh, that time also, uh, she saw the friends and uh, they said, uh, she asked the friends, uh, the hen asked the friend, uh, do you want to eat? They all said, yes, yes, I want to, we want to eat. Uh, but then uh, the hen said, no. I will not share this with you because you all didn't help me and also uh, you didn't, uh, you, d uh, you all did not want to work. So I just uh, don't want to share this bread with you. Instead I will eat with my chicks. Like that the hen said and it ate with its chicks. Okay. This was the story which we read. Okay. Uh, now I will be uh, giving you the notes for this lesson. Uh, but before that I want you all to take a new notebook. Nice notebook. Where you wrote uh, last uh, that squirrel chapter. No. That notes where you have written the same notebook. You just take it and write copy this notes. Uh, whenever you need, you can just pause the video and then write, note down the uh, notes, okay? 
and here also i have just um, uh, given two questions for you to think and answer okay uh, the remaining things i have given uh, you just have to take a notebook neatly i want you to write put the date heading and then inside the margin put q1 and write the heading okay i'll be starting with so to begin with we are going to write the hard words okay so inside the margin put q1 and in the first line you write hard words okay put the date and heading will be red little hen in the previous uh, slide i just showed you can just copy the heading on top first line you will write this q1 hard words and in the next line you are going to write these words one by one okay as we do in the class just copy these words one by one the first one is little uh, second one chicks third one is tiny fourth one cottage fifth one golden uh if you have uh, studied all the previous uh, present uh, videos uh, you could have uh, you can uh, just identify these words because this already i have just shared in those videos also okay so now uh, i just uh, copy these words okay first one is little second one chicks third one tiny fourth one cottage fifth one is golden okay shall we move on to the next five words okay so first one is worked second one hard uh sorry uh sixth one is worked seventh one hard eighth one is walking ninth one grains and tenth one is friends okay so i'll just show, show you the previous slide one more time uh so that um, i'll just uh, zoom it and show you so that you can just write it down okay you can see this and copy the words okay little chicks tiny cottage then golden okay so similarly the next page sixth word is worked seventh hard eighth walking ninth grains and tenth friends okay these are the next five words so we have another five words so totally you have 15 words so the next will be sprouts 11th word is sprouts 12th one summer 13th one wheat 14th one grew and 15th one is ground okay 11th one sprouts 12th one summer 13th one wheat 14th grew and 15th will be ground okay uh, you can just pause the video and you can just copy these words okay with your parents help you can just copy these words okay now we are going to go to the next topic you have to put after writing these words you leave a line and put q2 inside the margin and write frame sentences okay the heading will be frame sentences inside the margin you put q2 and write frame sentences okay this is the heading after the hard words you will leave a line 
and then write q2 frame sentences okay touch the line and write neatly and also i want you to give the finger space give finger space touch the line and write okay so have you all copied the heading okay i'll just move okay the first word here is tiny okay this also we have already discussed in the while i was teaching the lesson okay tiny the red little hen lived in a tiny cottage the red little hen lived in a tiny cottage so i want you to give finger space i have as i have given space here i want you all to give finger space and write okay so tiny uh, the first word is tiny the red little hen lived in a tiny cottage okay copy this properly in the notebook okay so next one is grew the wheat plant grew nicely the wheat plant grew nicely the second word is grew the wheat plant grew nicely okay so just copy this so shall we move on to the third yes children super third will be hard the hen worked very hard to feed her chicks the hen worked very hard to feed her chicks okay the hen worked very hard to feed her chicks okay this is the third one hmm? copy that okay next fourth one early i wake up early in the morning i wake up early in the morning okay this is the fourth word early i wake up early in the morning give finger space touch the line and write okay so the next topic will be meanings you should say it as synonyms or we can say it as meanings okay some words will be given yeah, we are going to give the meanings of those those okay now inside the margin after the, uh, you finish that frame sentences leave a line put q3 inside the margin and write the heading meanings touch the line and write okay meanings okay so here i've just given four words for you the first one is beautiful okay the first one is beautiful beautiful okay b e a u no b u t i beauty full okay the meaning of it is attractive so you will uh, something will be very attractive means you wanted to buy you know that is hey it looks beautiful you all will say right so i want it so beautiful is uh, the meaning will be attractive beautiful attractive at at is at right attractive okay t r a c t r a c t i v e t i v e attractive okay the second word is pick pick means pick the pen uh, whatever if you put something down pick it up we will say no bits of paper rhymes poem you know right pick them up we all sing right bits of paper so like that pick pick is uh, the meaning will be collect pick collect okay 
third word is hard it is very hard you will say right hard so hard means firm the meaning will be firm hard firm hard firm right hard firm and the fourth one is little little means small little small okay fourth one is little small so these are the four meanings you are going to copy it in the notebook okay now next after you finish this leave a line put q4 in the margin inside margin and write opposites what is this opposites okay opposites the first one here uh, hard hard means opposite is soft it is very soft we'll say no so hard soft okay first one is hard soft the second one is little so little means small then the opposite will be large little large the third one early i came early to school we can say or say i came late to school no so early late early late so these are the three opposites so shall we move on to the next okay so fourth one will be growl growl means it's very loud noise loud okay very noisy so that is growling so growl means opposite will be murmur murmur will be um, it's very very soft you, you cannot hear it much okay growl murmur growl will be murmur murmur means you will go and talk to your uh, friends or something in the uh, ears no you will say something softly so that nobody hears that is called as murmuring that is murmur okay growl murmur fifth one as you all know come go come opposite will be go and sixth one will be happy so the answer will be sad happy sad okay so these are the six opposite words i want you to properly copy it in the notebook okay so now the next topic will be answer the following so you are going to leave a line you have to put q5 inside the margin and write answer the following the heading answer the following touch the line give finger space don't forget that okay so the question number 5 will be answer the following okay shall we go uh, for the first question yes what did the red little hen do when she found the grains of wheat what did the little red hen do when she found the grains of wheat what did she do the red little hen planted the grains when she got them so the red little hen planted the grains when she got them so the red the red little hen planted the grains when she got them okay this is the answer what did the red little hen did with the grains right the red little hen planted the grains when she got them okay so 
give finger space and write neatly you can pause it and write the second one the red little hen ate the bread with her chicks why this is the second question the little red hen ate the bread with her chicks why why did she eat with her uh, chicks not with the friends so the answer is the friends of the red little hen did not help her to plant the grains so she ate the bread with her chicks the friends of red little hen did not help her to plant the grains so she ate the bread with her chicks the red the friends of the red little hen did not help her to plant the grains so here um just a second uh here no you just have to uh, keep a dot right so the friends of the red little hen did not help her to plant the grains so she ate the bread with her chicks okay this is the answer okay so the next will be the next two questions will be uh, for you to answer so i am not going to give the answer i have not i am not going to give the answer for this two questions you are going to write this question copy this question in your notebook and you will be writing the answer for those two questions okay third question this also already you have done it in worksheet so you just have to write down in the notebook should we help others why is it necessary to help others why should we help this is the question should we help others why that is the question so for this i want each and every one of you to answer by yourself what is your thought okay what you want to do whether you want to help or not first second one why we should do that why should we help others why we should not whatever is the answer mostly the answer should be no you guess it and you people write it okay i'm not going to give the answer for this so shall we go for the next question one more is there for you so fourth question is did the lamb the goose and the cat do a wise thing by not helping the little red hen the lamb goose and cat they did not help the hen right so is it a wise thing to do that is the question here uh, is it wise is it a good thing to do that is the question here okay did the lamb the goose and the cat do a wise thing by not a uh, little red hen okay this is the fourth question so is it uh, they did not help okay so is it a good thing is it a wise thing to do that is the question uh, not helping is it a wise thing to do so you are going to think about it and write the answer for this last question here okay so with that uh, we are completing the notes for this lesson the red little hen uh, just uh, finish up the notes neatly i'll just check when you come to school who has written very nicely so for them you will get stars 
okay and smileys are there okay for you so just um, also read whatever notes has been given to you okay read the notes write the notes neatly then read it and as i said before practice uh, um, writing uh, like uh, from dictionary you collect some words and write the meanings and learn it each day five words as i told and also try to speak in english at home uh, with your parents mm, as uh, always i used to say because you are not uh, talking to me right you talk to your parents in english so that your communication will improve okay children uh, be safe take care uh, i'll just uh, see you in the next presentation thank you children sairam